It's currently below 30 degrees here this morning. Sun's got out, got a little bit of power behind it. It's starting to unthaw the muck and the mush. Um, we are getting several things ready this morning. Uh, we moved some stuff that was here, had a car sitting here. So we can get ready to start putting our greenhouse up. And we are getting ready to put some crops into our DIY high tunnel. And uh, this is the one we just recently had to move. Um, we've got a few more things to do to it uh, to keep the cats out of it and the animals. But we're going to go ahead and get some crops in the ground today because it's a little bit cold outside. But we should have quite a bit more warmth in here than what we have outside. So let's go in. Actually, a quick little side trip here, a little rabbit trail. We need to go into the greenhouse. I thought that stuff got moved yesterday, but it, it didn't. And get a some lettuce to put into the ground. Morgan says don't take a video of her. So, let's see. Morgan has, she thinks she's gonna hide behind the tray. She's gonna make it more awkward when I get her on the video. Morgan has uh, some uh, May Queen lettuce and some tennis ball lettuce. And I can't read because my glasses are fogging up lettuce. I have mustard Ruby. and a few collards, which we probably won't be placing the collards over there unless we want to do them as a micro green, which we are small no, green. No, we so, won't do that. Yeah. Um, you need to get the lettuce out of the other greenhouse is what you need to get, the yeah. one that's severely grown. Yeah. So this is our seedling stock. Got a lot of herbs and so forth in here, some pink celeries and so forth, some winter peppers. And Morgan, I'm gonna put behind Morgan here. All right, Alyssa, come here, let's get some lettuce. This is our greenhouse number one. Let's get that tray, Alyssa. Got a beautiful tray of lettuce there, we'll take and put over. And. Let's get this tray. Here's some of my kale and spinaches too. Okay, is that what you're wanting to plant? I know we wanted to plant some kale and spinach on one side or the other. All right, right in the middle, we'll, we'll get it. Okay. New Zealand spinach did not like that cold last night. Then I wouldn't put it outside. Nope. Leave it in here or in there. Well, the gangbusters is good, just the New Zealand is not. All right. I have got some kale in the tray I've got. Alyssa has two trays of lettuce that I'm assuming most of that's going to be cut and come again lettuce. And then Morgan had a tray of a lot of little head lettuces and stuff that we'll be planting. So. No further ado, we got to get some crops in the ground. Obviously, girls walk on the pathway, even though I see someone already hasn't. You'd have thought that would have been common sense. So anyway, we'll come back to this video in just a moment. All right, just about done planting in here. Uh, Lisa has been working over here on our head lettuce So we've got everything from May Queen to a bib lettuce uh, We got little Jim, I think ice And ice queen She's almost done. She's got about another six feet to go here in the middle We have planted our kale. Well, I say we Alyssa and Morgan planted it not no we. And Tiffany and Morgan has been working on our cut and come again lettuce. So we've got about eight feet of it. Um, we underestimated how much we could use because we probably would have planted another four feet or so. 
but we didn't have it so we're getting ready to go seed some more and uh now they are working on spinach and tiffany has been working on mustard greens and i planted the little plot of a multi-sown detroit dark dark red beets so those are all planted and ready to roll so we are just about done i went out and uh done some securing on the side it's not flawless but doing some stuff to help keep the cats out of here i'm going to do a couple of other small things but that'll really make it harder on them to get in so this will deter them and i'll probably put another board on each corner to help hold the plastic back to where they won't get in because we don't want the kitty using this for a litter box so See Tiffany's talent over there. She leans over the bed holding her hand on the side to finish planting the last of her mustards. So, looks real good. Uh, we we got to water this in, of course, and we'll give it a we'll give it a, about a week. And then we will come in here with a fish fertilizer, maybe two weeks, probably two weeks. We'll come in here for a fish fertilizer with a low dose. And we'll hit all of this with a fish fertilizer, trying to accelerate that green growth. Uh, organic fish fertilizer, by the way. Uh, but we'll keep you updated on this. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can see the more videos like this. And to see the rest of this as we grow these out this year. Whether it's good or bad, we'll show you what happens in here. So, all right. Everybody say bye. Bye. Adios. Alyssa's not bye. said bye. I think Alyssa should do better than that. Alyssa, we need a bye. A good one. All right, we got an audio. That's close enough. <laughs>